Hello folks and welcome to another Mac Tactics Tactics video. This is the 4321 updated for the new patch and weekend league coming up, whatever you want to use it for. It's a classic. It's nice to call it a classic now because it has been used consistently for three years uh, and people have found a very stable formation to use it. You'll still come up against it a lot, even with the new tactics, even with the new, the new patch. Um, you will still find it because everybody loves defending in a 442. Uh, oh, that wasn't good. And everybody loves attacking in a, a kind of 4-3-3. If he plays that, that is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Should have maybe played a warm-up game. Good ball. What is going on there? Oh, come on! The twisting and turning to open that space. Varan. Haven't seen Varan in a long, long time. So, one of the things I wanted to, to mention is I had a really good comment in the last video about asking how the opponent I was playing against was it managing to use so many players to oh need to save you to uh, close me down and to close in the space and I had a I didn't even reply at first it was someone else replied and they, they made a really good comment about the the left stick changing and 71 depth uh, I just wanted to to make sure you guys are all aware that 71 depth is still a thing so if you're getting crazy um closing down and you're just not quite able to figure out where it's coming from there we go patelis um it is is a combination so people are using this really sweaty combination now of 71 depth or over 70 depth they are using team pressing uh, as a d-pad command and they're using insane second man pressing it's beyond ridiculous how what they can do now Oh, you, you, ah. has someone hurt my Mbappe or something? Because he's not doing what I want him to do. Oh. Um, so if you're you're getting in a game and you're just like under constant, constant pressure, you just have to find a way to ease it. And sometimes that is big switches. If you're in a five back or you're in a wide formation, big switches. Uh, if you're not, it can be a case of changing the instructions on some of your players to be come back on defense I, I talked about that in my last video um uh, and that that's still a thing um yeah that's my way to combat uh high pressure you can go toe to toe you can change your depth to 71 you can why is that inside you can um use team press and all that um but you'll see with this formation this time uh, i have made a couple of tweaks to my overall team instruction and my individual instructions and i'll explain that when i get into the the instructions part what it's about that um crossing still broken you can see and you can see how this formation plays you all know how this formation plays this is a nice wee alteration to take into account the the change in the patch and the change in the way that the teams are playing um this is still very very useful for um we can leak i would still recommend you have this in your locker i would still recommend putting it in old um gen and new gen um yeah so i'll get into tactics and i'll explain to you how i've set this up to make this once again a really difficult formation to break down and a really fun attacking formation if you're still in the video you still listen to me like subscribe it really helps the algorithm on youtube so please do that hi folks welcome back please like i said for the algorithm like and subscribe um this is the tactics part of it Team lineup here, it's the same as you've seen before. I didn't rush out and quick sell on my team, which I really wanted to do after the last video because I was having a horrendous time. It's important that you don't do that. If you want to sell players, by all means sell players, but don't rush to it. Okay, so here we go. Custom tactics. Into the 4-3-2-1. Okay, we have defensive style balanced. We're not going to change that. Width, 40. Depth, 67. Build up play, balanced. Chance creation, direct passing. Width, 43. Players in the box, 5. Corners and free kicks, 3 and 2. 
how this works. The width is narrower than it was before um, for both the defensive and attacking. I am keeping this as a super narrow formation. You've seen from the gameplay, I play through the middle. My width is created from my left back um, because they are the free player. And you will always find freedom with that player. Because the rest of your players are drawing the opposition narrow when they are defending. If a person has a really high width in defence, I don't know why you would, um, you'll find lots of space to play through. The depth is 67 because I feel like this is more, much more of an attack information. You don't have CDMs and you don't have a cam. You do have centre forwards who kind of provide that slight link between your midfield and your attack. But you're, you're counterbalanced in this formation. Not counterbalanced, you're overbalanced in the, the attack formation. You've got so many more players going forward than you do staying back. Um, I just feel this is an on the front foot formation. And that's why I like it, because I'm on the front foot, I'm defending aggressively, I'm playing aggressively, I'm playing driven passes, I'm playing quick passes. I like it for that. And that's why the, the width being narrow helps for Tiki Taka. Build up play, balance and direct passing. I just can't move away from that at the moment. Um, and it's because of the update. It has kind of driven, driven us into this, which is frustrating because you know how much I like um, forward runs. You know how much I like possession and fast and slow build up. I love mixing it up. I, lo I love having multiple formations within my four or five um, formations that I can use in a game just to change up the pace and change up the attacking angles. Um, so it's a little bit annoying for me at the moment and I am working on some tactics in the background to try and free up some of those options. In terms of the lineup, it's the, the same as always. I have Davies as my attacking um, fullback, so I want my more attacking midfielder on the right, I want my more my two strikers on the right, and I want my player who's going to play more of a winger on the left. Um, so in this formation, David Beckham plays right mid and Patelis plays left mid when we're defending. Uh, Kutusu and Gerard as my midfielders, which is really nice. Um, so the instructions. On Eusebio, we have... We have I've been talking to you guys about this, that I feel like the day is coming for a 50-50-50 uh, no instructions formation, uh, and I'm kind of paying back a little bit. So I've got Eusebio just on stay central and mixed attack. The reason for this is direct passing is like having getting behind on all your players. So I don't have get on be getting behind on any of my strikers. I have stay central on Eusebio, I have stay central, stay forward on Mbappe, and I have come back on defence and that's it on Patelis. I am really allowing the attacking AI to take control. That is what I want from these and that is the way we're moving. By team of the season we will have pretty much AI driven formations. Gattuso, he's on stay back while attacking cover centre. So is Steven Gerrard, stay back while attacking cover centre. Beckham is only on cover wing and get into the box. I was going to say you can put him get into the box. You can have him on get forward if you want to be super attacking and you're looking for a goal. Uh, I would only make that change if I really needed to. Uh, or you can have him stay back while attacking if you want to be more solid in this formation. But this isn't the formation for that. This is a formation for having fun, pushing on, being on the front foot. Um... Kyle Walker is on stay back while attacking and inverted, and Davies is on balance attack and overlap. You know I love these three as my three centre backs, and Davies can he can go just run up and down the pitch all day. Um, what I will say about this is if you're on old gen, um, I would drop the depth down to 57. Well, you could go to 67, like you could, you could play that on old gen, but I would probably keep it around between 45 and 57. More in line with the 57 for, to keep it with the attacking nature of how I've set this up. Width is fine for all that. Um, players in the box is fine. Um, you could actually go to six players in the box on old gen. Uh, that, would, that would make a wee difference there. Um, and instructions wise, you're just the same. There is no difference. Um, Centre-backs, we don't touch them because we don't want them playing as strikers. And Cassius is come for crosses and super keepers. But again, you can do what you want. Oh, I should say... Free kicks and corners, once again, your choice. I've got three and two. I'm going to look at that because I'm not using that properly. Uh, and that is it. Please, like I say, if you, you're still here in the video and you're still watching, thank you for all your support. Thank you for liking the channel. Please like, subscribe and comment because that helps the algorithm and I get pushed out to more people. Um, your your feedback is, is brilliant. I try and talk to as many people as I can. Um, I get such, such interesting questions from you guys. It's amazing. Um, and you really make me think about the tactics and you make me think about choices I'm making uh, and I love that uh, I love that um, I, I love that more critical thinking of what I'm doing so please keep it up keep supporting and you guys are great so yeah like subscribe and remember if the game's not been fun stop playing it play something else
Have a good night. Bye.